We're gonna try my delicious new salsa. We've been told to end cooking videos with a let's try it sequence. Mm. <laughs> we just can't. <laughs> but what we can do is tell you about the time that we got a text message from our neighbor saying, Hey, do you guys want some vegetables? Just pick some vegetables. Will you come get some, please? And so I responded, of course we don't want your vegetables to have looming over our head with uh, an obligation to make something with them before they go rotten and attract tons of fruit flies. I, I mean, yes, of course, we'd love some vegetables. Be over in a second. Fast forward three weeks when we've been saying, oh, we'll just make salsa with all these tomatoes and peppers and cilantro. Here we are, let's make some salsa. We're using our regular old Vitamix container, the low profile 64, but any blender container should work or food processor will just use the technique we're gonna talk about. It's kind of layering and two different rounds of processing. We are making California style salsa, which is basically five ingredients if you don't call it, count the salt. So we'll start with six tomatoes quartered. We'll put four in now and then save two for later. Half of a yellow onion peeled and kind of quartered as well. We're using one jalapeno. You can use any hot pepper you like. We are seeding it and taking out kind of that white, I think it's called capsaicin. That's the part that has a ton of spice. We're gonna share this with our kids. But you can keep the seeds, keep the white part, but you don't have to be a hero. You're kind of just looking for that flavor. Our recipe calls for half a cup of fresh cilantro. We're kind of just gonna wing it here, use a nice generous handful. You'll see recipes for salsa that call for the juice of a lime. We're just gonna throw the whole thing in to get kind of that little bit of whole food benefit here. All right, so here's where the magic happens. We're gonna blend on variable speed three, kind of like medium low, for like 15 seconds. Good. Don't you think? Yep. Yeah, it's gonna get everything about the same texture. If you like it more processed, you could go higher for longer. If you like bigger chunks, you could go shorter for lower speed. And then we're gonna add the rest of the tomatoes. So a couple more tomatoes quarter, put them in, and then we're just gonna pulse on the lowest speed it can go. Boom, boom. Multi-layered, different consistency, different texture, that symphonic of textures and flavors that get you that complex restaurante style salsa. Every time we make homemade salsa, we're like, oh, we're never gonna buy store-bought again. It's that good. Inevitably, inevitably, we buy store-bought salsa because we like salsa. We might like to make quesadillas, have chips and salsa, but the fresh stuff is so much better. It's not even close. Serve it up and enjoy. Our sound kind of cut out here, but Shalva's saying, ooh, it's delicious. It tastes like restaurante salsa. So fresh, so good. And then she decides to get a little weird and Mm. <laughs> Yum. More. Do what all the Instagram influencers do and TikTok and whatever, and not be very kind. Make fun of people for really just doing their job. It's hard for us to take ourselves seriously. Guys, this will last in the fridge for about a week uh, with a, you know, a cover on and a seal. And guys, if you're new here, uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll salsa you in the next one. All right, fine. Should we go upstairs and have some salsa? Let's do it. I, I got to move a bunch of stuff here. Um, okay, let's go up. <laughs> hey, Goofies. What's up, Raffi? The best Raffi. Oh, what are we making tonight? Wild rice soup. Woo! So much like I know, it's like grandma's house. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. You have to make a face that's like, like a silent mood first, and then you have to be like, oh, I should verbalize it. Silent and then a verbal. Like this? Like, okay, I'll try. Yeah. And then.
Mmm. Mmm. I think anything with cilantro, I'm like, I just can't stop. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. More. No. 